clouds by Scrucible Coach. Yeah! Well, hello there, YouTube. You're looking good. Welcome to Episode 1 of Corporal Cloud Spike's Crucible Coach. Now, in this episode, we're going to be covering Crucible Basics. These are very basic things for people that are new to the first-person shooter genre, or people that are just new to the Crucible in general. If you've been playing the Crucible for a while, and you're pretty good at it, you know, you usually go positive, you're probably not going to find too much helpful in this video, uh, but you're more than welcome to watch it anyway. Uh, this is more geared towards people that are struggling uh, to complete Thorn Bounties, people that are struggling to complete regular Crucible Bounties, people struggling in Iron Banner, and there's Lesson 1 right there. Uh, lag all the time. Just, just lag all the time and you're invincible. Well, as to the serious tips, uh, we're going to start with some basic first-person shooter tips for people that may not be comfortable playing FPS games or, or new to the genre. And step one is going to be to use your radar. Now, combat in Destiny is very magnetic. People see red on the radar and they move towards it. Now, what you're actually going to want to do is use that radar information to flank. And also know when an enemy is above or below you. And you'll see that when the radar flashes bright red, it means they're on the same level as you. And when it's kind of grayed out or kind of uh, see-through or transparent red, it means that they are above or below you. Now, with this radar information, you're not just going to want run in and run straight towards them. You're going to use information to flank or use it to know when an enemy's dropping in on you like that. And just use that to your advantage. Again, if you're new to Destiny or new to the Crucible, you may want to consider running a primary weapon that has the third eye perk or armor that has third eye just so you can aim down sights and still have that radar information. It's kind of a crutch, but it can be useful until you get better control of the game. My next general first person shooter tip is going to be to aim for the head. Now, some for FPS games, you don't really want to aim for the head. Uh, but in Destiny you do. There is a massive headshot multiplier for pretty much all the guns except for the fusion rifle that I'm using right here. You want to aim for the head, whether it's auto rifle, sniper rifle, shotguns, you even still want to aim for the head. It's going to give you a massive damage bonus if you do that. My next general first person shooter tip is going to be recover and reload from cover. Okay, don't uh, don't walk into a battle with your gun empty, and don't walk into a battle at half health. Talk a little bit more about the recovery stat later on, but just know you really want to make sure that you are fully loaded up and on full health at the start of each engagement. It's just going to increase the likelihood that you will survive that engagement. Now that I'm done with general FPS tips, I'm going to go on to some Destiny specific ones, and this will start with a question. Do you like getting blown up with rockets? Do you like getting mowed down with machine guns? If you answered no to either of those questions, then make sure that you get the heavy ammo. Get the heavy ammo. I still see people just sit there and walk right by it when it spawns in. And I try really hard to make sure my team gets it here. Uh, in the end, we do end up kind of failing with it. Just everything's going crazy. Uh, fortunately, only one member of their team picks up the heavy ammo there. Now, what the heavy ammo is going to do when it spawns in periodically is let you use your rocket launchers and heavy machine guns, that third slot in your weapons. And everyone on your team having it, and nobody on their team having it, is going to put you at a huge advantage. Uh, very huge. I would say to actually prioritize getting heavy ammo over my next point, which is play the objective. You want to play the objective. See how I capture this objective and it gives me those points towards my super? You want to play the objective. So if you're going to play control or salvage or skirmish, play the objective. If you don't like playing objectives, go play clash or rumble. It's as simple as that. Playing the objectives will help your team win. It'll help you get more kills through getting your supers quicker. And in all, it just adds a whole other level of strategy to the game that's not there in some of the other modes. So, play the objective. The next tip is going to be to use your supers wisely. 
So here I use my Warlock's Radiance to come back, pick up a couple of kills, and capture the objective. And that's what you want to do with supers. You're going to want to do one of these things. Either one, you're going to want to defend the heavy ammo, or counter heavy ammo. You're going to want to counter other players' supers, or you're going to want to capture an objective with it. Uh, or stop the enemy from capturing an objective. So using supers to maximize your team's chance of winning is the general goal. Don't just panic and use it on one person. And I know we all do that when we're playing it, but try hard to maximize your supers. The next one kind of ties in with that. You're going to want to use your grenades in melee wisely. If you have a grenade on your person when you died, you're doing it wrong. Okay, if you have a melee up, you are doing it wrong. You need to use those to your advantage, especially the melee. Melees are very powerful in Destiny. And uh, the Warlock one especially has a very long range. And a lot of times there's other things associated with those melees, like recovering health or gaining a shield that you are going to want to use. So use your grenades and use your melees as often as possible. The fifth and final tip goes back to when we were talking about recovering behind cover. So making sure you're not running out into battle at half health. And this is to maximize your recovery stat. In Destiny, you have three base stats. And that is armor, recovery, and agility. And the other two are advantageous to use. But the one that's going to help you out the most is recovery. And this is because the other two just aren't very noticeable. Agility helps you move faster and jump slightly higher, but it's a very slight increase. The same thing's true of armor. It'll give you more base health and allow you to take a little bit more damage, but if you max your armor out and get the most armor you have in the game, you're only going to take maybe one or two more shots from the weakest guns in the game. That's how little a difference it makes. Can it make a difference? Can it make you survive sometimes? Absolutely. But recovery is a much more guaranteed thing if you can get behind cover. And you'll just see your health bar come back up quicker and you'll be ready to, to jump into battle quicker. So right there is a perfect example of that. Uh, I took quite a bit of damage and then you get my health back up. Um, yes, I would have taken a little bit less damage if I had armor on, but this way I'm back at full health quicker. Because getting the full health back quicker is way more effective health than increasing your armor. Okay, so in short, maximize the recovery stat. Also, you're going to maximize your recovery abilities in whatever class you're using. There's a lot of things that are either on armor or class items and just perks you can get to either regain health or get a shield. And you're going to want to do those things, especially if you're new at the Crucible. Alrighty, so to recap, we have use the radar to flank, use it to your advantage, come at the enemy in unexpected ways. Aim for the head because of the big headshot multiplier. And recover and reload behind cover. Don't just charge in at half health as I am doing that right there in the gameplay footage. Uh, next, get the heavy ammo, which I also have done right there in the gameplay footage. Play the objective. Make sure you get those points or get those captures in whatever sort of objective mode that you're playing. Use your supers wisely. Use your grenades and melee. Don't die with a grenade or melee still up. You should use it. Use every last thing you can to try to survive as much as possible. And speaking of that, maximize recovery. So that is pretty much everything to cover in the Crucible basics. I plan on making this an in-depth series. I want to do class reviews, weapon reviews, armor reviews, and map guides. Uh, let me know in the comments if there's anything specific you want to see or what you'd like to see next. Right now, I plan on making my next one a cover of the Warlock class because that is the one that I am most familiar with. And I just, I, I love me some Warlock. He's awesome. Well, that's about it for this episode. I hope you learned something. I hope that these tips will help you out and help you get those thorn bounties done help you own in the Iron Banner, and if you liked it, uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and feel free to leave suggestions about future episodes. This is Corporal Cloud Spike signing out. Go out and save the world. Almost forgot, want to do a shout out to the Super Good References for playing Iron Banner and 
helping me to get this footage because they are awesome and without them I would not do half as well as I did that match.